this uh, script uh, as a preliminary matter. This is Peter Halley, chair of the ACNVT. Um, we've already confirmed that uh, members and persons uh, are present, uh, and including Kurt Barnes, who uh, will be uh, our uh, first uh, speaker this morning. Uh, the, this open meeting is being conducted remotely, consistent with the uh, governor's executive order and extensions uh, thereof. Uh, in order, the um, we've circulated the agenda, and I take it that everybody's received an agenda. Uh, Please note that the meeting is being recorded and all attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other folks may be able to see you and to take care not to sheet, screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. Uh, all supporting materials that have been provided members of this body are available on the town's website unless otherwise noted. The public is encouraged to follow along with the posted agenda, uh, unless I note otherwise. Uh, and the basic ground rules are, uh, first, I will in in introduce each speaker on the agenda. After they conclude their remarks, I'll go down the list of members, inviting each by name to provide any further comment. Um, please hold your comment until name, your name is called. Please remember to mute your phone or computer when you are not speaking. Uh, remember to speak clearly in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. Uh, for any responses, please wait until uh, I yield the chair of the floor to you and state your name before speaking. If members wish to engage in a conversation with other members, please do so through uh, the chair, taking care to identify yourself um and uh if there are any members of the public uh, on uh, we will have uh, a a time for them to make uh, whatever uh, comments they like uh so i think that's about it each vote taken in this meeting will be recorded by a roll call vote uh, so that there, there are the formalities. Uh, we've established that we have a quorum. Before we move to the first agenda item, um, do I have a motion to approve today's agenda? Uh, so, okay, the second. Do we have a second to approve the uh, today's agenda. Second. Okay, and all those in favor, signify by raising your right hand. Okay or any hand you have raised. Uh, the, um, and then uh, approval of the, the proposed minutes for our last meeting. Uh, do I have a motion to approve those minutes? Okay, we have a motion and a second. Peter Kahn, second. Uh, any discussion? No, all those in favor? I okay, good. Uh, just a, a second before we um, go to Kurt Bonds, I you know we have a, a number of people who are on this morning, uh, some of whom are uh, uh, in the process or have completed the process uh, for uh, becoming members of the committee. Uh, it, has anybody who in that status been sworn in yet? Uh, I, I contacted uh, Libby um, to uh, find out whether or not uh, there will be virtual swearings in, and the answer was no, that you have to be sworn in in person in Nantucket. So that uh, may, may put a, uh, a little monkey wrench in, in you're actually voting, but uh, let me tell you, you're uh, Full participation is welcome and encouraged, and I think uh, the rest of us here uh, will benefit from from your views uh, before you're officially sworn in, and I'm sure after you're officially sworn in as well. Uh, so I, I think as 
last time I checked, nobody had been sworn in of the potential new members. Uh, if, if anybody here has been sworn in, let me know. Uh, now, okay. Then let's move on to uh, first item on our agenda, which is uh, a discussion of the uh, uh, form of town government proposal that has been submitted as <coughs> Warren Article One by Kurt Barnes. Um, a Kurt Barnes uh, is is a resident uh, and uh, I guess a longtime resident now, Kurt of uh, Nantucket. Forty two years. Forty two years. That's uh, that's a long time. Did did you were you a season visitor before then? Started coming here in nineteen seventy. To fish. To fish. They, uh, and it wasn't whaling, right? It was fishing. <laughs> Blue fish at uh, Smith's Point, which is not open anymore. Oh, goodness. Well, you, you've seen a lot of change in that in those 42 years, I'm sure. And uh, I think from just so that you are aware, our committee has discussed uh, the issue of the form of town government uh, many times uh, sort of informally over the years. And I think that we are very interested in, in, in hearing about your proposal, the th thoughts behind it, and sort of uh, if it's adopted, what, what do you think is gonna happen next and where do you hope we will end up? Happy to do that. Um, Having been here for a long time and going to town meeting uh, at most of those times, I, I think uh, many of us are frustrated with the fact that like this year we have 103 articles. Um, 92 of them are changing the pay rate for lifeguards by a dollar and um, things like buying a truck for the DPW, which is in their budget. Um, so there may be a half a dozen things that are substantive that uh, really warrant the attention of town meeting. Um, the way I got to this article is interesting because I was elected as a water commissioner a year ago on a write-in ballot uh, since no one knew that there was a two-year vacancy available and I applied. So having served as a water commissioner um, I have encountered the real problems of the current way of town government operating. Um, the Water Commission is independent. Um, it's, uh, if you will, uh, in military terms, attached but not assigned uh, to town government. We are independent and the five commissioners vote on rates and, and pay scales and uh, general policy. Right now, of course, our big um, item is the uh, solar uh, plan to put the solar display up at Wires Valley, which will save the town um, six and a half million dollars in 10 years. And yet we have a few people who don't like that idea. But that's another question. As a water commissioner, um, on a couple of occasions, we have had the opportunity to uh, acquire a house that was uh, being offered free to, to be moved. And we are short of housing for staff as most people are. We were not able to take advantage of those opportunities because under the current town administration, we have to go to town meeting to get approval to use retained earnings, which we have to buy the house. So we've lost two opportunities. Uh, and another one's on the, um, on the screen right now. The a similar situation applies as you may have heard uh, at the airport. The airport has the opportunity to get um, grant money from the feds to upgrade, to improve, to do various things. But in order to accept those grants, the airport has to get town meeting approval. 
we have lost $2 million uh, potential grants because we ran out of time because we only had, we had town meeting to wait for for a year, which led me to reevaluate my feeling about the current um, uh, select board approach. I think it might be interesting in, to note that uh, I submitted the article that changed the town manager's job from executive secretary to town manager. And that was uh, a number of years ago, but I was the one who kicked that article upstairs and got um, Libby named as town manager where theoretically she has more autonomy and authority to proceed. Um, one wonders if that was as effective as one hoped it would be. Um, so I did submit the article and I trust that all of you have seen it, that it says to um, direct the select board to establish a committee for the purpose of studying the establishment of a town council form of government for the town and county of Nantucket. Uh, there was another article submitted by um, a, a very uh, involved group of um, colleagues who I work with closely. Um, but the fact is I reviewed um, my article with John Giorgio, which is one of the options that you have uh, if you're preparing an article. And in talking with John, he felt that the best approach instead of just cutting the cord and starting with something new, like a town charter, as was the other proposal, that we would establish a study committee that would um, hold hearings and give us the opportunity to get input from the community. Uh, I had just gone through that process as a member of the town government study committee. So I agreed that that process was very important. And I think it's important to you because in holding those hearings, we would be able to get a great deal of input and suggestion from various people who might be affected. So the way I see this article going, and I, I could read the details of the article, but I've been informed that you all have copies. Is that correct? Yep, I've got it. You all have a copy, so you don't need me to read it. Um, but um, the, there are some other notes that I um, turned in um, to uh, FinCom, and they have met, I met with them once, and they're uh, going to review this article on uh, Tuesday at their meeting. And I understand from Denise uh, Crono that they are prepared to make a recommendation. I'm hoping it will be a positive recommendation. Um, but um, the process that we have at the present time, is, if it goes forward is to appoint the committee. And then my feeling is that we I don't think we should go out and spend another $200,000 for uh, consultants like Granicus and uh, um, the, the other CSI people. I think we have great talent on Nantucket. Uh, I'm looking at Denise herself as a very experienced facilitator. I'm looking at uh, Pauline Proach, who was on the school board, uh, Alan Warden, the Nantucket data person, um, Michael Corzat, the former superintendent of school. I think any of these people or people like them could be qualified to help us facilitate the process. There are a number of other resources, in particular, Mass Municipal Association um, offers uh, counsel and advice on this, uh, this kind of thing. So, what I was hoping for is that we could move very quickly to establish a committee to have the hearings. But I think important to your group is the fact that you should be involved in those hearings. The, uh, I would see them being held um, frequently, not waiting two months as we've just done with the latest uh, CSI thing. 
And I think the opportunity for the um, non-voting uh, taxpayers to be there is very, very important. And I would encourage that. I also would suggest that the change to town council has certain advantages because I, uh, as a member of the town government study committee, uh, we did some field trips. We went to Falmouth and looked at the option of a representative town meeting, which they have. Uh, my assignment was to go to Barnstable and Barnstable does have a town council. And I was, um, I spent a couple hours with their, um, their town counselor, their attorney. Um, and I was um, intrigued by the fact that it seems to be very efficient and it moves right on. The, the way you do it with the town council is you can come before the council and anyone can come before the council. It's not like town meeting where you have to be a registered voter to, uh, to go in uh, or sit up in the gallery. Uh, you could go to the town council, make a presentation, a request, a proposal. The normal protocol is that town council will then uh, refer to the appropriate subgroup for review and come back in two weeks. They meet every two weeks in Barnstable, come back in two weeks, discuss the, the uh, issue, and then vote it. You don't have to wait a year. So I'm looking at the, um, your group as being able to come to town council, to the town council meeting, make a request or a proposal, it'll get reviewed, and you can get an answer quickly. I know you can't vote. Well, nobody can vote. The council votes, it's the legislature, but you certainly will have input and in a way, I think it gives you more input than you currently have under the, um, the, the present system. So my hope is if this article gets forwarded uh, and endorsed, that it's voted, that we can quickly appoint the, um, the committee. And it would be in an ideal situation, we uh, can bring it back at the special town meeting where the short-term rental thing will be discussed. Probably it won't go that fast, but I would try very, very hard to expedite it if I could. There I am. What else can I tell you? Thank you. Uh, the, I, I do have sort of one question uh, about the proposal as you have it here. Sure. And, and it has to do with the the so this would be this is item three on your proposal. Um, the nine elected men or members, uh, of which one each shall be elected from the following council districts, uh, as established by the charter. Yeah. Uh, and um, it, it, uh, my my question is that it, 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 will this will this uh, be sort of a one person one vote type of representation in other words are these do these districts have approximately equal numbers of voting residents or is, is that should that be a concern of um, you know how how the council town council members are being yes. selected uh, a very good question because um, again I I've gone to Tucker Holland who is the housing person for the island. And I have, uh, and he served on the town government study committee with me. And I said, Tucker, we need to have fair representation um, based on the geographic distribution of the island. So uh, Tucker is working on a protocol to look at um, if we go with nine, dis nine council members, <laughs> eight of which would be geographic and then one at large. And he is um, has a protocol to look at the island and say, where are the year round residents based and to make an equitable distribution of representation through that process. I think Nantucket data may also have something to help with you, but uh, the answer would be each district 
um, would have an approximation of the same number of voters. And um, there would be one council person from that district who would be the voting person. Um, but in, in my instance, I, I live uh, in the area that I start out calling Town West because um, I'm west of Main Street. I live at Sunset Hill next to the oldest house. And um, um, my idea, if I were uh, elected to be a counselor, and I will certainly run, uh, is that I would have um, regular meetings up at my house. I have a place to go. Obviously, you know, you can call your counselor anytime you want. But I was thinking that a good counselor should have uh, periodic meetings. I would do regular meetings. And then in the summer, when um, um, you all are around, um, I would encourage that we get together and talk about the questions and the issues, because the job of the counselor is to accurately represent all the people of the island. And um, uh, you're a very important part of the island, as as I was when, before I moved here. I still, I rented out in Tom Nevers and um, I rented in, in uh, Madikin. So uh, I just think you've got something to say. So anyway, that, that's the way I have gone to Tucker and asked him to help us establish the geographic areas. Okay, uh, uh, thanks. Um, you know, I, 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 do members have, have their own questions, views that they want to put forward? Don Green. Yes, uh, one of the things that concerns me with geographic distribution is the kind of parochialism that comes out of that. And I think each representative should have a, a real standing in that looking at the island as a whole. This is not a big place, Nantucket. So I would sort of, um, I would not be disturbed if they were all at-large members because those would be people that the voters have the most confidence in that they will uh, represent them uh, pro properly. Well, I don't, but, I don't disagree with that. It, uh, that's the kind of question that would come out in, um, in the various meetings and how we would um, actually craft an article, um, I, uh, I think, uh, for example, the folks in Sconset certainly would want to be represented. And um, if they didn't have any geographic connection, they might not get represented. And, and so it's a, it's a toss up, but that's what the discussion is supposed to address. Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm coming to this by watching our own Congress at the federal level. And they get really hamstrung because they've got the sense that they're supposed to be more for their constituents than for the country at a, as a whole. And, and I, I, that's where I'm coming from to have the at-large members and maybe it could be a small model to show a better way of doing things. Well, that's a discussion item, and, and it's very important. I agree with you. Yeah. The, the, let me ask uh, Kurt uh, this question. Uh, procedurally, if, if this is adopted, uh, does this limit the considerations of, and you have six points down here, do they limit what, what the, uh, the uh, discussion committee could uh, come up with, or is it just sort of a, uh, a discussion starter? Oh, no, it doesn't limit anything. You got to start someplace and you got to tell them what you want. Um, and um, again, I tried to look at um, uh, representation as a, as a question. <clears throat> the, the other um, proposal for a charter change is talking about full-time paid counselors um, uh, so they don't have to carry other jobs. Uh, in Barnstable, um, the counselors, there are 13 counselors, and um, they're paid $8,000 eight a year for expenses. The chair is paid $13,000 for expenses. I am not a fan of trying to vote full-time $125,000 paid representatives at this point, but um, no, that's where we are. 
Kathy had her hand up twice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um okay for me to go peter yeah 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 okay. please do um just a couple of questions that came up one just to follow up on the the um the government study committee and was the gary on that one for for representing us was that the committee that I, gary I, was on i i i think he may have been or if not if gary no. certainly has a, a is of all of us or at least the most yeah. vocal of all of us uh on this subject Gary, by okay, the way, so has broken his hip, and is uh, that that's the reason he's not uh, on today. Uh, yes, he's very interested in this. Kind of, so that must be, it was the, it was the coastal resiliency. That's what he's on. Sorry. So just, since you were on that committee before, Curtis, um, is how is this? This is going to be different because there's there'll be a specific focus to go after. I think the other one sort of evaporated. If you were on it. Can you tell me what happened and why that didn't work? The other one being the government the study committee. I'm sorry. The, Which one? the government study committee that you were on didn't produce um, a, an article, right? We produced a report, a number of uh, items, such as uh, uh, changing the town moderator from a one year appointment to five years instead of voting Sarah in every year. And all of those recommendations were forwarded to the state and they have not been acted on in a year. Okay, uh, okay got it. And the district just curious, um, how, how will you determine, how is Tucker gonna determine year round residents? Is that gonna be those with the exemptions or is there some other method he plans to use? Uh, Tucker's a lot smarter than I am, and he's got a system, and he said, oh, yeah, I can do that. Again, I'm going back to uh, uh, Al Warden and the data group. I think they have a lot of good stuff, uh, probably maybe more than some of our so-called consultants have. <laughs> okay. Um, I think... Yeah, that... Oh, and then, well, and you mentioned representation on this committee um by by one person perhaps from this group did you say that to have advisory i didn't know i didn't say that i said that this anyone on this group can go and speak and make a recommendation and and have something to say i think it's time it's very important to hear what you have to say okay bill uh bill sherman <clears throat> I was thinking uh, to, to ask uh, you, Kurt, uh, would it be thinkable to have an ex officio non-voting uh, uh, ACNVT representative on the council? That's a very reasonable proposal. It, it you know, obviously once, um, if this is passed, and the uh, group is is organized. That could be a recommendation, and and I wouldn't have a problem with that. It's not it's not going to be my group. It's going to be someone else's group. Yes, I understand. There would be a problem, of course, uh, for a non-voting person to be on island uh, for every other for every two weeks or something like that. But it could. Well, argue, in the know. summer, Bill. Hopefully, um, I mean. If you want to play in the game, you got to play. You got to be there and, and get in the game and, and work at it. So that's part of your job, too. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and the other question uh, you may remember when the uh, uh, original uh, town and county charter commission was uh, deliberating, there was the concern that. Um, uh, town government employees particularly uh, school employees and their supporters might dominate uh, a um, form of government other than open town meeting of course they can pretty well dominate open town meeting as well any concern about that any thought about that Kurt? um i have not focused on that as a concern i choose to believe that everyone has a good heart and wants to work together. I don't think, I've been um, disappointed in the past to see 700 people 
go to town meeting and the minute the new uh, school budget is voted with the raises 600 or 350 of them walk out. That upset me. Uh, I, I, again, I'm a good faith guy and, and I'm sure hoping that the people who stand and serve will serve well. Amen. Thank you. <clears throat> Donna's asking. Donna, something. yes. Yeah, um, I would like to say as an individual, I think this is a great opportunity for us to gain more representation. And uh, if the committee decides to take a position, uh, it, I do think it's more forward thinking and we would be able to have a voice. And you mentioned Tucker Holland, um, when he does his um, proposal, I wonder if he would bring up how many people are non-voting um, constituents and that may support our involvement in this perhaps new, new form of government. I, I fully agree. I've, I've been saying all along that I think you have something to say, but you know, I owned a house in, um, um, in West Yarmouth or, uh, for 10 years, a vacation rental. I, Joan and I used to go there in the winter and take a break from the island, um, paid taxes, um, but I couldn't vote in West Yarmouth. I vote here because that's where I pay my taxes. I own a house in Philadelphia where my son lives, pay taxes, can't vote in Philadelphia. Uh, mm -hmm. So part of it is, you know, put your money where where you are. And and um, but again, I I firmly believe in the open an open system and um, more involvement um, and make sure you come to the meetings and have something to say. Uh, anybody else have questions or observations? Uh, and uh, if if not, uh, the does anybody want to make a uh, a motion to support uh, Article One uh, as a uh, good step a step in the right direction for Nantucket? Uh, Peter. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, do we have a second? Second. Yes, I, I can. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, take that to second, Kathy. Yes. Uh, any discussion? So. I just, just one quick question, um, if I can. Uh, so, in this group, as as it exists, exists under the eight uh, town meeting form of government. So, this group wouldn't exist in that format in, in 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 the new format you're talking about or not the way it is now is that is that is that what would happen in a town council we would just be individuals then um, um there are, frankly i don't know all the answers i see no reason why uh, a an area group or a constituent group could not exist um i i think again I, I believe in open government uh, and responsive government, and the more you're involved, the better it's going to be. So I see no reason why you shouldn't continue to have a committee or a group that uh, wants to bring a point of view to the council. Thank you. Yeah, just for clarification, as I understand it, this this is basically a vehicle to kind of test the waters and see if the town is interested, uh, the, the, the next town meeting is interested in pursuing a town council form of government, it seems to me. And, and the, the, um, uh, if the answer is yes, then the details will emerge uh, in the future uh, for another town meeting to consider uh, uh, at that time. Is, is that kind of the way? That's, that's what John Giorgio has suggested. We establish the committee. The committee um, meets, um, formulates an article, makes a recommendation for an article that goes to town meeting. And, uh, and as Mr. Giorgio said to me, even if town meeting uh, votes to pass the new article establishing a town council it has to then go to the legislature for approval and he strongly feels that the legislature will 
uh, require a local vote uh, before it's implemented. So there's almost two more steps. Yeah, and and, and so so also the um, with respect to your proposal, if the other proposal, and I can't remember what name is Jeff Carlson's from six Article Six, yep. if if that were approved at this town meeting, would that I understand it still would have to be approved by the legislature and all the rest of it, but would that sh short circuit the study committee and just go directly to, you know, here's a charter presumably from some other. Well, um, uh, Mr. Giorgio commented several times that yep. the, the other proposal is uh, uh, imperfect and not, um, not cannot be voted. Okay. Okay. So, so this does not. Uh, and I, I have been told informally that several of those people uh, feel that the direction we're proposing in Article One is a broader and um, more involved procedure. So, um, I don't know what's going to happen, but anyway, I very strong support for Article One. Okay, Bill. Uh, I'm wondering if the <clears throat> motion is uh, properly cast. Uh, remembering that we're an advisory committee to the uh, select board, <clears throat> is the motion to the select board addressed to the select board indicating our support, or is it addressed in effect to the public at large? How uh, how do we move from voting the motion to uh, making it uh, clear to whom it's directed? Well, I, I can only speak to our past practice and you are absolutely correct we are advisory committee of the select board and we provide our advice to them uh, but in the past once we have uh, established that um, you know this is advice that we want to make uh, and we've written to them uh, we've then taken that advice uh, for example, to the FinCom and said, you know, this is advice and this is where this committee stands on, on this subject. And I don't see why we would not be able to do the same thing uh, uh, once we've gone through the proper procedure of making our written advice to the uh, select board. Thank you. Peter. Yeah, uh, Peter Kahn. Uh We've also, I mean, I mean, we take it a step further. We've also, we also make recommendations. We, we are allowed to be heard, obviously not vote, but heard at the um, town meeting. So I would assume that at that time, in advance of the discussion on this, or at the time of the discussion, our position would be would be uh, would be set forth. Yes, that, that, that's correct. We have, and we've appeared at town meeting before, and or either one of us has gone, or the moderator has been kind enough to state what our uh, uh, position is uh, for the town. Um, the other, Donna? Yeah, I had a question uh, for Curtis. Curtis, if uh, I guess you are preparing, you're fleshing out some proposals now, right? I mean, so you have um, items and so forth for this uh, oh, proposal we... rather than waiting for the town meeting to move forward. Uh, the the article as submitted is what is on the warrant. If you have a copy of the warrant, you'll see it is published exactly that way. Um, I have uh, uh, some uh, argument or uh, discussion items that I've prepared for town meeting, but what will be voted or brought up is that article as printed and the warrant was published this week. So that's all we get to start with. And then you know what happens at town meeting. 55 people add their, their amendments. We'll see what happens. It's now Article 81. It's now Article 81 in the final warrant. So After all of the uh, lifeguard raises and the nickels right. and dimes and the trucks and all the rest, right. Okay, Lou. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. At, at some point, will if uh, this committee is interested, could we get involved as your, let's say it's approved at the town meeting at some point right after that, if the committee deems it appropriate, could we become involved in it as you well, flesh out even further? Your, 
the the article proposes to establish a committee that will hold hearings just like the town government held hearings for two years. And I think we had three people come in two years to speak. So get on the horse and let's go. Okay. Uh, let me just uh, point out that uh, this uh, we have uh, been appointed to other uh, committees of this nature. And I, I don't know who the appointing authority will be if this passes. Uh, but we uh, were a member of the ad hoc uh, noise committee. We're a member of the council, uh, the the uh, resiliency committee, uh, and uh, we have our uh, uh, Peter Kahn is on the uh, short term rental working group, uh, and so it's it's it would not be unusual for um, us to be considered for appointment. Uh, I think uh, Curtis makes a, a good point that this looks to be, if it happens, it's going to be a very, very fast moving and active uh, committee. At least that's the intention. These all yeah. start out as fast moving and active committees and then uh, <laughs> everybody uh, argues for three months about uh, who's going to be on it and what the shape of the table is going to be, but uh, whatever. Uh, Lou, you had a, a, a question or comment. I'm mute. You're on mute. Can you hear me now? Yep. Okay. Uh, let me start off by saying I think that the idea of a um, change in the form of government is a move in the right direction. I don't necessarily agree with the proposal that's before us. Um, it's more government. I think what we need is smart government. The idea of nine council members kind of is ridiculous as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I served on a town council uh, for three years before I went to the legislature in New Jersey. And we were 50,000 people, five people elected at large, and it worked very, very well. I'm not in favor of paying the council members. I think that uh, it's an honor to be able to serve. And I think that um, we ought to continue moving in that direction. I think uh, Don Green brought up one of the most important uh, points that needs to be emphasized that when you started to have districts of any kind, wards of any kind, people become very parochial. Only their uh, issue is important to them. Everything else in the town becomes secondary. So running people at large, I think, makes a lot of sense. We're a little island. We're not a very big uh, area. Um, when I say to you that I'm in favor of uh, changes in town form of government, I'm going to give you just one simple example, the area of zoning. It's a very, very complex area. All the zoning uh, articles are put before the voters. A lot of the attorneys don't understand the depth of those articles because of the fact that there's so much history behind them. Good example is what we have out in Tom Nevers. Tom Nevers in the 1890s, early 1900s, they were selling a lot of land off, small parcels of land, some of them large parcels of land. Governing body in the 20s and 30s then grandfathered, grandfathered everything in. So you have pieces of property out there that um, are um, 50 by 100 and pieces that are four acres. Uh, in order to make any changes, you have to go before uh, the zoning board to make changes. It gets very complicated. Uh, that's an issue that the governing body that I served on had two attorneys on the board. They couldn't handle many of the zoning issues. We had to hire a private attorney. Just one example why you have to have a change in government. Putting issues before the general public that are so complicated, you can lead them in any direction you want. They just don't have a, a good feel, nor do the, uh, some of the elected officials. But that's just one example. Um, we can talk about, um, when I talk about zoning, uh, a person that lives in a residential area in a one family house. Uh, Joe's been living there for 40 years. Joe needs some money. Joe decides he's gonna fi fix up his basement, rent it out during the summer. Is that now a two family house instead of a one family house? The fact that he's renting it out. Uh, does that mean that it, uh, it doesn't have to be inspected by the um, uh, fire department and by the health department? That should be part of something to look at too. 
very complicated issue that the public is not involved in right now because they don't understand it. Yes, I favor change. Thanks. Any uh, Don Green? Uh, two things. One, I think any proposal should be as broad as it possible can be as, as a motion here, mainly efficiency and representation. And you can say, for example, uh, Article 1. Uh, but getting down to specifics, I don't think it's something that we, we should do. The, the other thing is um, our name. We're called non-voting taxpayers. What we really are are seasonal residents. And if you get that name, residents, in our title, I think it becomes more comfortable with the uh, ge general uh, population. You can define it un under that as uh, being here, owning a property, and uh, you could even say who uh, vacation here, though some people, I don't so that people who don't to just rent their property are not seasonal residents. Um, and, and that's what I think, those, those two things. One, if we're gonna have a motion, it should be pretty broad and, and with the salient parts of it uh, mentioned, namely again, representation and efficiency. And the, the second part, uh, I don't know how we get a name change, but I've always been a, a little irritated being called a non-voting uh, ta taxpayer when what I am as a seasonal resident for many, many years. Okay, so uh, the, uh, the motion is to, the motion that is under discussion is uh, Peter Kahn's motion uh, to uh, support uh, the adoption of article one. Uh, at the town meeting and to give our advice to the select board uh, that we think that's appropriate. Very, very broad, simple. We have no, no details because uh, the, they're really, all the details are uh, to be worked out should this uh, article pass. Is there any further discussion on that, that motion? Do you, anybody? Yes, Kathy. Just a question. Um, it, there are some specifics in the article, like nine districts. What if is it possible for the um, group that that's launched after this to say no, we only want eight or something like that, or or would they have to work within the framework of what's in the article? It's just a question. No, the study the study group to be appointed would be uh, uh, modifying that article. Okay. The once once it goes to that committee then they will be crafting an article. Yeah, okay. It, 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 is somebody going to call the question here? I uh, do. Okay. Uh, all those in favor of uh, Peter Kahn's motion, signify by raising your hand. Uh, those who are actually voting members, I'm sorry. Uh, and so that uh, I have one, two, three, four, five. I mean, Count Bill, Bill Gardner looks like he's, uh, Bill, <laughs> he's Bill, got his hand up. Bill, Bill Gardner has his hand up. Okay, six. Yeah. Uh, any those who oppose? And I'm voting, uh, I'm voting present. You're ready. So you have one, one abstention. Uh, yeah, or one present. Okay, good. So it, it passes. And uh, Curtis, I want to thank you very much for a, you know, proposing this warrant article and be uh, sharing some of your Saturday morning with us uh, to inform us. And uh, hopefully uh, we can be helpful. Uh, hopefully it will pass and hopefully we can be helpful in the next steps. Well, I appreciate the opportunity to share this with you. And um, I think it's very important that you are involved. And from my perspective, I am expecting that you will be. Great. Have a, have a great day. You're welcome right. to stay. Or am I excused now to go you, back? You are, you are excused to... Uh, go I got to go feed my chickens. <laughs> you can stay on if you want. <laughs> thank you. See you in a few weeks. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Uh, okay, it, at the STR working group meeting, which is uh, still set for January 31st. Uh, yeah. it, yes. 
what what do we need to do to help you, Peter Kahn and Bill Gardner, uh, with respect to that meeting? My, my recollection is there were a group of data questions that were being proposed, and uh, um, what 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 else do we need to know about? Well, I, yeah, I think the only thing is if anyone has any any uh, suggestions to uh, to modify those or add to them, uh, we should get those. I must say I was a bit surprised. Maybe Kathy can address this, but. Uh, well, I say a bit surprised, uh, disappointed, but not surprised, I guess is the word, um, that in the materials we just received, it appears now that the town is going to retain a, further, a third party, another party, to actually oh, deal with the data collection. That, that Granicus basically has, has, it must have thrown up their hands, uh, but they're not going to be the data sort of collectors now. That they, uh, it's, and um, is that, is, am I correct there, uh, Kathy? <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I think the, the reason for that is that when we, as you recall, when we saw their data, it was, it was lousy. Yeah. garbage. And yeah. so there was concern because really, the, if you think about it, uh, and I'm an IT person, so I understand how they get their data. They go and they crawl the web and they get a snapshot of data at a point in time. So the information we were looking at happened to be picked on it some day in October. So that data, whether it's valid, you know, whether it's accurate or not is, is one question, but the, the other question is there's no historical information possible using the techniques they use. So when okay. that was pointed out, I think the consultant said, okay. And then there were people asking for, it, it didn't had no, no data that the real estate agents have, and they do a lot of short-term rentals. And I don't think the consultant, you know, and you look at most towns, the majority of the short-term rentals are done through the online platforms because that's what's exploded. Well, Nantucket's always had short-term vacation rentals and they were run by the real estate agents and, and that data was not included and couldn't be included in the way Granicus was looking at it. So it's now, okay, we need platform data and we need real estate data in order to get a complete picture. And then we need to deduplicate that data because anybody who rents their home, they may do it through a real estate agent and they may be on Airbnb and they may be on VRBO and other platforms. You don't want to count them more than once. So the real estate agency said, we will pull together our data. And um, then, the then basically they realized you know, they needed to have somebody to put it together and they wanted it to be an independent source. They didn't want to put forward data to the group that somebody could say was biased. In other words, oh, that's real estate data. It's no good. So that's why they're doing this. Um, and it's going to delay the process. We don't meet, even though we meet, I think we meet the 31st, we're really not going to meet again until March. And, and so that's, you know, that's yeah. what's happened there. And it basically is because, because we were chartered to base policy on data and then they never gave us any. So yeah, no, I, I think the bottom line here is that Granicus has been a total disaster. And yeah. as we try to point out at the outset, when we asked, you know, what are we, what's the problem, you know, what's the issue we're dealing with? They never were able to come to, to grips with it. So yeah, I just wanted to highlight that what you said basically is that you know, this is just for the further delay. And the fact that the fact that we have, we have a town meeting, although I don't think we have a date yet, that's something else to be determined for the fall <laughs> has allowed them to kick the can and down the road. I, I, I must say, given the background here, I'm a little worried, a little worried that, um, that all this time, you know, We'll get you know just in a way we'll be working against us because it's just sort of loosey goosey here, uh, and they need to keep the pressure. We need to keep the pressure on them. But uh, uh, the bottom line is that um, it, it is slowed down again. And then you know it's like pushing things to the end. You know, yeah, writing sure. a project for you know that's what I did for years. You know, you want to do things that you can do without the data and get those yeah. done. So you're not you know you don't push everything to the end. So I've two other things I just want to throw out there as ideas. Um, one is uh, the data. The data that we asked for does not include any kind of economic impact analysis. Well, so yeah. in other words, um, it's at the end, it's just defined, we need an ep economic impact analysis, but we haven't fleshed out what it should have in it. So I think that's something we might want to think about um, as far as the meeting on Tuesday, Peter. And the other thing that occurred to me is that we also are not permitted to talk about, <clears throat> and this was the decision of the uh, consultant, the existing um, citizens warrant articles that are out there, that these are all going to be voted on uh, at town meeting in May. They could get passed, they could not get passed, but whatever happens with them, that I think there's some, there's some potential impact 
And for example, um, the one that Emily Kilbert has out there, um, it's now, it used to be Article 13, now I think it's some other number because they've renumbered the whole town warrant. But that one has to do with regulating based on how many days you stay in your home. Well, that's clearly data we didn't ask for, and that's clearly data that nobody has. So that might be a data element that we need to find, or we need to, and I thought, well, how do we get that data? And one of the things I was wondering is, and I don't know the answer, can the portal, whenever it comes up, and it's not launched yet, it was supposed to start January 1st, it's still not out there. When, thank you, Granicus, <clears throat> yeah. they're doing that too. Could they add other questions? Could they add optional questions, for example, where you, when you register, you answer that question. Now you could be lying because there's no way to prove that one way or the other, but at least it would provide some idea of how long people spend in their homes when they are part-time or seasonal residents. So that's just my my brain dump and I'm done. Yeah. Peter, <laughs> can I just, uh, can we just, uh, just yeah. responding to that. Number one, you're absolutely right, but with regard to the economic side, I, I, I read this to mean that that that's we were to deal with that later. I mean, so that that's you know, I'm not sure what's going to come up on Tuesday or not, but we need more time to develop that. There's no question about about that. Um, as far as as far as the um, Warren articles, I mean, it's my understanding, and we ought to. This is something we ought to make sure is the, the group is unified on and make it very clear to the selectmen that the select board is going to take the position uh, that no warrant should be passed that deals with this issue. Period. Until such time as the uh, they come our our our, um, our proposal comes before the special meeting. I would think you know I mean there's not much more we can do other than that. I mean I think you know that should carry a lot of weight. And I you know uh, but there's nothing we can do. I mean the bottom line is we, we will oppose. Our position should be we're opposed to all 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 warrant articles until such time as ours is 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 out there. Okay, so let, should we put that in the form of a motion and uh, and uh, maybe using the old numbers, get all the numbers in there. And, and uh, what I think is that, uh, you know, our advice to, we, we support the uh, uh, the select boards, uh, I don't know whether to take an action or it's just discussion now, uh, position that uh, all of these um, uh, uh, short-term rental uh, articles, uh, should be either voted down or tabled uh, in favor of uh, letting the short-term rental working group uh, finish its work and make its proposals uh, in the future. I don't think we need. I mean, I don't think we need to vote on it if we have a consent. I mean, you know, it's a consent. Basically, it's an instruction to me. It's up to you guys what you want. If you want to vote, I mean, I'll take a consensus. If we have a discussion, and then, you know, but however you want to do it. Um, well, I, I guess it's just the question is what 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 you need. I, I I think any instruction to you you the the instruction to you on that issue is, would just basically be saying that your group supports the notion that the short term rental working group ought to finish its work right. uh, rather than uh, uh, having any changes made to the status quo um before that happens yeah i think actually what, what we what we might do i mean that that i sort of i take that um but what we might do here to the extent that the select board has not taken an official position on this yet although i think they're leaning towards this since we are an advisory group to the select board that that we advise a select board that we feel strongly about this and that they should make sure that they take that position that they that, that they either oppose it <clears throat> or, or, or table it. the planning board has already done this um because i i was at the meeting that they did this and they the term they used if we wanted to use it is called um not to adopt they're recommending not to adopt that's the terminology they use mm -hmm. okay why don't we just duplicate that uh that proposal yeah, yeah why, why don't yeah can you send that to me uh can you send that to me um happy please so so, so that would yeah. be 13 what what are the other ones that uh, are? Uh, do you want the do you want the numbers that are in the warrant right now? What the, or do you the want latest the old ones. numbers? Sure, sure. Any any numbers will do. I'm not <laughs> the, the, yeah, the, the current warrant, numbers, but the current as numbers. long as they're accurate. Yes, I know what they are. They are um, 
Okay. Yes, I, I do know what they are. They all went from one to another. I wrote it down where they write it down. So um, there's 35, which is the uh, one that had to do with um, the Arthur Reed one. That's the yeah. affordable housing. And then there's 50, 58, 59, 60. 57, 58, 59, 60. 35, 58. Say, say those again. 57. Yeah. 58, 59, and 60. So there are five of them in total. And just, just before um, the uh, the Arthur Reed run, the stabilization, that has to do with the affordable and year-round stabilization fund. Right. Why, uh, uh, I must, I'm, I, Cannot recall that one off the top of my head, and what 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 does it have to do with the issues of affordable house? Uh, rather, sure. ERs. It's it, using the short term rental. Income. It's using the it's de dedicating two thirds of the short term rental um, um, lodging fees of the lodging fees. It's dedicating that to affordable housing, and they group that. We don't have to, but they group that. As anything related to short-term rentals, so if that those that's how the planning board did it, we don't have to do it that way. Could could you give be a little bit more detailed on that? Because I'm I'm not I'm not grasping it. There's a the 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 pool of money is is derived from what a tax on short-term rentals. It's a tax on lodging. It's eleven point six percent of a tax that that the, that the town now gets around twelve million dollars a year that they didn't used to get because mm -hmm. there was no tax. Right. So what Arthur Reed is saying, that windfall shouldn't just go into the general fund where the town can use it for whatever they want to use it for, that two thirds of it should be earmarked for affordable housing. And so what, what does that directly have to do with, with short-term rentals? Because all of that revenue is, short, is from short-term rentals. It's but now 10% of the there. entire it's, budget. The pool of money that he's tapping. Hmm? Excuse me? It's a pool of money that he wants to tap. Right. And but the pool of money is going to be the pool of money no matter what happens with the short-term rental working group. Is that not correct? In, in other words, that, that, that money is there because there's a tax and uh, the tax is being collected already. Yes, that's true. Okay. It may, you know, depending on what the impact of, of the short term rental articles, though, that the amount of money that goes in there would change significantly. Uh, so th they uh, do, again, we don't have to group it there, but it is, it is, it's got the word short term rental in it, and therefore they grouped it with the others. Now, three out of those other ones don't mention the word short term rental at all. They're just zoning changes, but they do impact short-term rental. So I, I understand that, uh, but yeah. what I'm just because this does, it's like uh, as I understand it, the short-term rental working group, not a single one of it is, its issues has to do with uh, how taxing, how the revenue derived from taxing short-term rentals will be allocated. Well, right. yes, and, yes and no. I mean, there's been a bunch of discussion already with regard to the policy issue of whether some of that should go towards affordable housing or not. So my my guess is that ultimately, as part of this, there will be a you know, it won't be enforced, but there'll be a recommendation in that regard. Um, it's just it's just look, it's you're right. Technically, it's not a you know it is not directly involved with whether or not we should have short term rental or not. But if we're gonna if we're gonna put to the side this whole issue until the, you know, if we're going to put the, the, the short term rental side to the next uh, town meeting, why not just do the whole thing at one, you know, and not, not complicated? I agree. Okay, I, I guess I, I'm, I'm the outlier on this one then. But uh, somebody make a motion and we'll, uh, you know, pass it or, or not pass it. <clears throat> <Mike>. <laughs> 
I want to make a motion to instruct myself, so I'm happy to have someone else do it. Okay. Uh, okay. The uh, so the well, is, this, is this motion for the short term rental group or the or a motion to send a letter to the select board? So a motion to send a letter to the a communication to the select board, which would be a letter. I'm, I'm, what I'm thinking is if we if we do this, we basically send one letter with Article One in it, the paragraph, and 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 uh, uh, these uh, other four or five articles, um, uh, uh, you know, talking about not to adopt uh, mm -hmm. uh, on those. Um, so, so I move that the ACNVT send a motion, a motion that we send a letter to the select board um, supporting the position not to adopt articles 35 and 58 through 61. What about 57? I thought it was 57 50, to 60. 57 is that that's my my bad it's I'm, I'm looking oh. at them right now it's 58 okay. they stuck in a new one which was really interesting called 40 that bumped all of these up the town threw in a zone a new article to combat that fractional ownership issue oh, right, right, right. yeah oh picasso yes so that's now number 40 and then it bumped all the other ones out one so that's why it's 58 through 61 i'm looking at the town warrant right now okay 58 to 61. So just, yes. just for, for my uh, edification, number 35 is what was four. Is that correct? Uh, what I want to do is line these up because I want to make sure I understand what, what I would be voting for if there is a second to your motion. Yes. Um, um, let me just pull the warrant articles up where they originally came out. So then. Yes, it was four. Four is now 35. And then 58 to 61. So 58 is was what? 58 was um, 19. 19. 59 was 20. Yep. 60 was 13. Okay. And 61 was 21. Okay, so, so why uh, they sandwich one in between three that were in order, I don't know, but they must have done it because of the reference in zoning. Maybe they go, you know, through the zoning bylaw, and if it affects that piece of it, then it it's numbered that way. I don't know how they number them. They probably want to do all the zoning uh, together. Right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. So now I, I, <laughs> I think I, so. We got two, five, five. Uh, five articles uh, so is there a second for kathy's motion yeah i mean i you know but again i'm not sure i'm right yeah no i am i, I second it okay <laughs> so discussion uh is there any discussion uh I, i'll discuss as i've stated before i'm i'm not persuaded that article four should be part of this mix article four which is now article 35 should be part of this mix um uh, i think that a uh, a, a sort of a a statement by us that article uh, four slash 35 should uh, not be adopted is a statement contrary to the interests of affordable housing. And I'm not comfortable with that. Uh, that's my understanding of where we are, at least my, that's my understanding of this, this particular article. It's just saying to the, uh, the, the town that you have to put X number of dollars uh, out of the, uh, the revenues connected to affordable housing, and this is the source. Um, uh, if if I'm understanding it correctly, uh, and being... one of the discussions that Peter that was had at the FinCom and other places on this article and the town itself was that the mechanism that the 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 the, the emotion behind it or the reason behind it nobody everyone supported but the mechanism that was chosen in the article would kind of make it the funds inaccessible. So that the money would be set aside, and then you had to wait another year to tap into it, or something like that. It was—I don't understand anything more than what I just said—but it was the mechanism that was chosen in the article that 
was of a concern. So it's just way in the weeds. So wh where is the FinCom on this one then? Uh, they, they are they're going to be uh, voting on these, I believe, Tuesday or. All right, so we can wait. I'm trying to remember when they were doing it. The planning board Tuesday. already did, and I don't know. <clears throat> they're meeting. They're meeting like every day. Actually, they met this morning. They could have done it this morning. So, I, Denise, I invited her to this meeting, and she said we're having one at the same time. So, <clears throat> well, I, um, I, yeah, I um, because the FinCom basically makes the they they make decisions based on what the finances of the town are impacted by, and then the select board usually. They're the last ones to weigh in, and they kind of usually go along with what the FinCom says. Okay. Well, I, I guess I don't personally have enough understanding of 35 or 4 or what its, what its uh, uh, merits or demerits are to uh, advise anybody uh, on that. And and so I, ca I can't uh, personally support that, but uh, if... Um, if, if uh, it were eliminated, if we had two separate motions, you know, one on Article 4 slash 35 and the other on the other four, I could certainly support the, uh, uh, with respect to the other four. Uh, and that's just my, where I am. Okay, Bill, Bill Sherman and then Don uh, Green. Uh, I would urge uh, as a general principle that it's generally not wise to, uh, uh, designate uh, streams of revenue for a particular purpose. It's better in principle that the uh, town be flexible in that. For example, if uh, there were a, a large stream of uh, or large commitment to affordable ho housing, this might be ill-advised. I think it'd be smarter to uh, not adopt for 35 uh, along with the other articles, take it up all as a package. It might even help uh, in getting uh, support for uh, adopting uh, other articles as a part of a package of uh, good moves. Thank you. Don Green? Uh, it looks like we should table this until people yeah. can really read these articles again and see what they do and don't approve of. Well, I, I think they're going to be, they're going to be make weighing in I on it. Walking, hello. I, I move to table uh, this, this vote. Uh, I, unfortunately, I am, uh, my Robert's Rules of Water education is not, uh, is a motion for table that has to be brought on first? Does anybody understand the way things work? And do it need a second? I think it's non debatable, and uh, we just vote on it uh, and then move on. Does it need a second to, to table? Yes. Uh, yeah. Is there a second? Okay. No, with no second, it won't. Uh, the um let me make my my one suggestion uh further i would i would i would really like to split the two in other words the the four that are you know clearly try to alter the state of play with respect to short-term rentals from the um from article 4 slash 35 and then bring up for that just 35 and i think i could support that uh, under the separate rubric of uh, um, it, it's uh, not flexible enough and blah, blah, blah. All right, I'll, I'll accept that as a friendly amendment. Okay, okay, good. In that case, uh, voting on whether to uh, recommend not to adopt on articles 58, 59, 61. So 58, 59, 60, 60 61. And 61. Uh, one. All those in favor of uh, recommending that they not be adopted, say aye or aye. raise your hand. Okay, we've got uh, uh, everybody. Uh, anybody opposed? I vote present. Okay, vote voting present. Good. That that passes. And then um, I guess now we have uh, just Article uh, thirty-five four. 
is that's still a live motion, I think. Uh, and um, the, I would table that. we could table that until our next meeting. We'll have more information. I suspect okay. it's not, not going to make a break. Um, because of, I don't, I don't, well, do we know, uh, Kathy? Do we know when the select board is going to take a position here? It's not not until much later, right? I uh, don't really know. I think they're working through them. I know they adopted the warrant as it is, but the FinCom has to get through all of them first, and then I think the select board. But I don't know when that'll happen. No, okay. probably another couple of weeks, but I'm not sure. Yeah, Bill Gardner. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do we need to make a distinction between? Um, what's happened in the past and what we've been looking at versus what's likely to happen in the future between now and the time of the fall meeting and specifically any proposal from act now because i think they're going to come up with this one or more proposals so would they be caught up in our motion Bill, I don't think there are going to be any more warrants. I think the time for warrants is run. I don't think there could be any new warrants put put forward. Okay, that's my understanding as well. Is what they could supplement? No, I don't think so. Okay. I mean, they could. I think, and Bill Sherman, maybe you know this. It, the, the, let's say the people who's put these citizen warrant articles in that we've just talked about, they can can they choose to table them to special town meeting at the May meeting if they choose to do that? Can they Can they, Can they? they do that? So they may show up in the fall? I'm asking Bill Sherman, do you know the answer to that? I mean, procedurally, can you, can, can the author of a citizen's article say I'm tabling it to the special town meeting? Uh, uh, they could be, uh uh referred to the uh, um a motion to put them uh into the uh warrant of the fall town meeting i think would lie but normally uh, you'd expect the those submitting the motions to uh, resubmit them for the fall warrant so the answer is it's possible and there is a you know, one procedure, another procedure, as I understand it. Uh, but that, 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 but if they get voted on, they're dead. They're either approved or because these are all zoning there or they can't be they can't be resubmitted for a, for a year. So if they're not approved, they're dead at town meeting. If they are approved, then the short term rental group is now having to deal with, oh, this is approved. And now we have to change what we're doing based on this one that just got approved. You know, I, I don't know how that works. <clears throat> okay, the, let me just backtrack because uh, I think we've gotten a little bit off track because that, that's a a question. It's a good question, but where we start, we, where we are right now, we have voted that we will advise the select board that uh, not adopting uh, uh, 58 through 61. I'm sorry, I'm getting, yeah, 58 through 61. And um, there is a motion, which I think still needs a second, to table 35 slash four to the next meeting. I am if, if as the chair, if I can second a motion, I will second that one, <laughs> having suggested it. Uh, it would be who, who, who moved it? You I thought you moved it. Who moved you, it? you you moved it, I think. Oh, I just accept it as a friendly amendment. Okay. 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 And he, then you said I think and we should table that consideration till the next meeting. Yeah. When is the next meeting? Uh well, that's that's technically we don't have one, uh, so uh, we'll have to decide. That. Uh, anybody have a view on the next meeting? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. When is it? When is that? What date? What's the date? Uh, that would be the eleventh. Eleventh. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Two eleven. Yeah. 
yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'll be I'll be available for that too. So so just before we go, that that's uh, I think we're finished now with this portion of the agenda, and I'm trying to get finished with the everything else. So um, we've done. Uh, let me just add on uh, citizen warrant articles. Um, are there any other citizen war articles that our people think are worthy, worthy of discussion and consideration uh, by us? I'd previously been very uh, enthusiastic about the one noise article. And uh, so I just did it on my own without any attribution to this group. Uh, and I don't wanna waste this group's time uh, unless anybody is particularly interested about uh, HVAC and pool equipment noise. Did we did we vote on the Article Thirty Five tabling? Uh, maybe not. Uh, so I'm seconded. Anybody, everybody in favor of tabling Article Thirty Five till the next meeting? Okay, and one. I think one, two, three, four. Somebody else have a hand that they can put up. We I think Bill, we need Bill Gardner. Where is he? Bill, Bill Gardner. Okay, five. Yeah, I see his hand. Okay. Anybody opposed to a tabling it? Uh, Bill. Bill Sherman, okay, yeah. and Kathy's opposed to tabling. So the motion carries to table and uh, Bill and Kathy will have an opportunity at next meeting. Um, I, as far as the other articles, I think that the sponsor of the outdoor lighting one asked for us to weigh in. Oh, we haven't done that. That went before FinCom on Thursday, I think. And so they voted they to they voted to not to can, to think about it more. <clears throat> I like to, yeah. I think we need to have some more discussion about it. I mean, we haven't. I thought we were going to have the person who was proposing that come before us. <clears throat> we can invite just, her to the next meeting. I think we can we invite should, her for the it? next meeting. Yeah. Okay. I, I I um I've now printed out the existing law, and let me tell you, if anybody's interested in this, they ought to at least look at the existing law. And uh, one of the maddening things about this is there's not a red line version showing what the changes uh, would be. And it's, it's pretty complicated, but it seems to me that the existing law, this will be discussion is, is you know, it is good enough, uh, but apparently not for a lot of people. Uh, so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take that up at the next meeting and I'll uh, give her, Kathy, do you wanna invite this person? She's been in contact with you. Yeah. We had her speak at the Tom Never Civic Association. So, yeah, I, I've been, uh, I think Don Green said at one of the earlier meetings, it's very complicated and very regulatory. And uh, it, it's the uber regulatoriness of the lighting that kind of uh, appeals to me is a, uh, it, do we want more regulations? <clears throat> but, uh, we, we can discuss that. Uh, the uh, so where are we now? Uh, I think we've uh, uh, done uh, done, what, done what we need to do. Uh, do we have a motion to adjourn? We have a date for the next meeting. Uh, Donna has her hand up. I have I have a question, Peter. Yep. If I might. Yeah. Um, is the committee interested at all in the article was article three? Um, the sponsor is Bruce Mandel, and it has to do with e-bikes. I, I know that the school is having a lot of problems with folks using e-bikes and they're hitting people and so forth. Uh, I don't know if that's something that committee wants to address or anything. Well, why don't Becoming we a danger evidently on the bike path? We can uh, bring that up at the uh, at the next meeting too, and we can invite Bruce. Bruce has been very successful in getting these things passed. Could could you hold, hold on a second? What's your dog saying? Oh, it's right. <laughs> I think that was his phone. I think it was. <laughs> it's like it's not my dog. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, That's one way to take care of a dog. Okay, sorry, uh, my uh, family's out skiing and I'm 
Oh, nice. I'm here with you, uh, which is my choice. Uh, the uh, so Bruce, should we invite Bruce Bandell as well? Is this is something that people are interested in? I mean, sure, sure. The issues, you know, do we have to weigh in on everything, or should we just, you know, pick and choose? Uh, I'd like to hear him. I'd like to hear him though, actually, on this issue because I think that you know, if he's if he's available. Okay. Uh, so we just we just want to have them each invited, both invited, and we'll figure out what what time they're slotted in. Yeah. 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 Okay. <clears throat> Good. Anything else that uh, people have that uh, we need to discuss today? Do you want me to invite Bruce, or do you want to do that, Peter? If if you would do that, that would be great okay. as well. I, I would suggest that we go with a light person first, because I think that may take more time. Is more probably yeah. more more important. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I think I think we were pretty much done everything we plan to do. Uh, and uh, is there a motion to adjourn? Until next time. So moved. Second. Second. Okay. okay. All those in favor? Aye. Great. Aye. Thank you very much. I I appreciate it. Um, Thanks everybody. See you Take in. Care. Right bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.